Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing Pacific Drive. That music sounds so sad and exciting and fun at the same time. Yeah. It, it's, it sounds anomalous somehow. Somehow they made music anomalous. For some reason I had a random headlight stuck underneath my tire. Anyway, we just made it back from a good run, right? Yeah, that was a... <clears throat> that was like a... a grind. A very good run. We got our stuff back. Next, we need a limb shield. You need copper wire. Yeah, I need one copper wire. But I'm just gonna do some general looting on this run. So I need to find a good place where there's just generally a large amount of loot. And for that, I would go up here to get some thermosap crystals, but there isn't any up there. I mean thermostat crystals. But I'm gonna head here because I need some anchor juice. I'm gonna take the... Should I take the highway or should I go like that? Should I go quick, or should I get a lot of loot? You know what? I'm gonna gather a lot of loot. Okay, we've still got some stuff to do to our car. Makes a weird noise. Makes a jiggling noise. Isn't there like a machine back there? that we don't know what it does. Okay, it yelled at me. Um, once again, the brightness seems, seems kind of low. There, I'm, it's, I made it a little bit brighter. That seems nicer. We've got the brightness turned down on the laptop. Right, Daddy? I think. Feels like it. Yeah, possibly. Okay, let's go. Let's leave. Wasn't I missing something? Yeah, what did I break? Oh yeah, my pry bar. I'm gonna want a new one. Let's grab it. Equip the new pry bar. <coughs> now we're bringing some repair putty with us this time. Some repair putty. Putty. Putty is very satisfying. Just like the word satisfying is. got two functioning headlights now. Okay, here we go. And we're off to the races. So we're going the we're going the slow route. We're going the slow route. We're taking the chill track because there's a lot of houses on this way there's a there's a junction with maximum housing like maximum buildings 
And buildings are where copper wire is. I don't think we need headlights. Do you think we need headlights? I can see pretty well. You can see better than I can, Daddy. I think I'm gonna turn up the brightness yes, on the laptop. Okay, for some reason it was on the lowest possible. We never did that, as far as I can remember. Maybe we did that when we when we were still playing with this on the kitchen table. Then we didn't have the setup yet. No. I I set it to full brightness out here before. stop and grab some plasma. Man, these things are weird. Everything in here is weird. But it, but the spark towers especially. Like, why is there just a tower dedicated to massive electricity bolts that are- that can damage tons of stuff? And it's made with limb technology. Like, that's- that's not an anomaly. That's a thing. It's like an overcharged Tesla coil where the- where the secondary coil is the ground. What's powering this? Aw, unfortunately we can't grind up the tape recorders for electronics. Keep your eye on, eye the, road. on the road. They've, they've got memes in here. Anomaly safety. Anomaly. Apply boot. Evade. <laughs> Apply boot. Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of funny. They're using technical terms to talk about kicking something. Anomaly spotted. Apply boot. Evade. This has a more realistic car sound than car mechanic simulator. And that's not a good thing. Because the game is called Car Mechanic Simulator. I guess this game is called Pacific Drive. Limb is poison. Not directly, but indirectly, yeah. I can kick that. Oh, I can actually kick it around, like with F. Remember at the start how we figured out that there's a kick button? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Car Mechanic Simulator has less realistic car sounds than this game. Oh, the car sounds, <clears throat> the car sounds horrible in that game. Yeah, something was scannable. There's a TV in here. Is it copper wire? Yep, yep, we got some copper wire. Backpack? Nope, no copper wire in the backpack. I just gotta grind up the toolbox. I thought that was breathing. The crows. It sounded like breathing until I really listened to it for some reason.
We're committing ludicide. Instead of suicide, ludicide. I'm just gonna randomly honk. Okay, remember, when we see a bridge, don't go across it. Go to the road below it. They're made of, like, scrap metal. Very close. You can't spill it. It's impossible. But that it's looked very, very well designed. That was close. Though. That looked very close. I wonder if these contain copper wire. They do. <coughs> I didn't know that. Lighthousing have it? No, it's just scrap metal in the lighthousing. See what I mean? That's more realistic than car sim car mechanic simulator. Okay. Car mechanic simulator, it's like <laughs> when it's warm. It takes forever when it's warm. Mm -hmm. it, it it doesn't like it My summer car has better sound than the car mechanics to me there. Yeah, and it sounds like no, lo the long drive has a better sound than car mechanic simulator. You know that one car that sounds really weird? Like it's all knocking? Like it it has a ton of rod <coughs> knock? Mm -hmm. That one? That... Ooh. Oh! Happy hair! This is the healing one. I'll attach it. Happy hairs are the best. I wonder what they contain if you scrap them. I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just wondering. Is there any electronics? Why is there no electronics in any of these? Yeah, see it heals. That's a good thing to have. Yeah, the happy hair on the back. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Oh, we've seen them. Have we? Yeah. Oh, it's a tunnel. We need to go over top of the tunnel. We need to go over top of the tunnel because that's the road to the next area is above the tunnel. As long as that doesn't turn red, then we can do it. As long as that little symbol doesn't turn red. Something just spawned. I don't know what it is. Oh boy. I think we're losing traction. Because that's what that turning red means. Oh, there's gusts and gales here. Hurricane squall. Oh, I see the wind. Wait, the wind is what crashed the game last time. Escape the wind. Escape the wind.
But I can stop for stuff. Still. It's coming. Oh, there's a phone. Yes. Oh no, the trumpet played. That means something's happening. Oh, the gusts and gales is right there. I mean, no, the hurricane squall. You've seen gusts and gales, right? Oh boy. It's yeeting us. The hurricane squall. We gotta go. We're gonna get launched. Okay. We're taking the long route. This has tons of houses. This one. I'm scratching my back. Something stuck to your car? Try giving it a swift kick. Oh yeah, you can kick those things off. Like the bunnies and the hares. But I wouldn't want to kick the happy hare off. Oh, look at all those buildings, Daddy. You're thinking of Sierra. This, I don't think this is Sierra. It might be Sierra. But I don't think so. Oh wait, yeah, this is Sierra. How did I not hit that? Oh, it's Sierra. Yep, I know it for sure, it is. It is indeed Sierra, because there's the red dot. Or Colossal Cappy, as they call it. No, don't send me off the cliff! Freaks! I almost got sent off the cliff. Yeah, all this debris flying around is taxing on the... taxing on the memory. We can turn it off. Oh, it's okay. The debris. That seems to be the new part. That looked like a wriggling wreck amount of electricity. Oh no! Oh, this thing's crazy. How did I not hit those trees? Tell me the 
that it's completely blocked off. Oh, I can't harvest all the electronics inside. But I can harvest this stuff, at least. Oh, there's a phone out here. Why would someone have a phone out here? But thank you. stuff now with all the copper wire. Yeah. There's Colossal Cappy. The tell sign of Sierra. I'm not going any closer than this because last time we ended up jumping ourselves directly into it and almost died. Because Oppie fit almost didn't Zap us back. I can't wait to have a lightning rod and my car just gets struck by lightning constantly. And it'll charge up my battery. That'll be cool. Then storms will be good. For me. And also it's raining, so I would be getting stuff, but I don't have the hydro generator. like one minute you're in the middle of an intense storm and then the next you're in a nice sunny day nice hazy and sunny day like look at the haze on this thing it's either smoky or it's damp yeah it's either fog it's, <coughs> I'd or say, smoke i'd say it's damp i'd say it's a little both actually i'd say it's fog and smoke yeah Pacific Drive, it's almost somewhat close to the ocean. Yeah, so this is damp. Yeah, it's the Olymp it's the Olympic Peninsula. Yeah, it's in the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. The Olympic Exclusion Zone. That's the name of it. The Olympic Peninsula. Uh, and then inside of that, there's the Olympic Exclusion Zone, which is the where we are. That's why they keep referring to it as the zone. Because it's called the Olympic Exclusion Zone, but they don't feel like saying it. Baller. That's called a baller. Baller. Yeah. Don't worry, I can make a new one, though. Rubber. rubber. We are gathering rubber. rubber. 
the ballards attacking around me are crazy. Oh, what was I just thinking of? Oh yeah, siphoning the fuel. Because we're, ne we're gonna need some fuel for this journey. Okay, that filled up the tank. Empty this out. Let's make sure that this is fully filled. Yep, it's full. Put it in the trunk gunk and be on our way again. dark enough for the lights. Whoa, the atmosphere completely changes. Also, the fact that it echoes. Wow. That's not a wriggling wreck. Maybe. It was. <laughs> No, what the wriggling wreck does, um, basically, you'll see this, like, pile of scrap, and then, like, tons of those little Tesla coils will shoot out of the ground, and it'll start to, like, they'll start to, like, move and wriggle around, and start glowing, and then eventually, it's like a big capacitor and it discharges all of the electricity and destroys your car. I didn't even realize that. I thought it just detained you. Yeah, I wouldn't be so scared if it detained me. It's not like an a doctor. Uh, yeah. Bubble the bubblegum buddies? Yeah, it's not like them. It's more like you see a scrap pile and you go up to it and you're like, Hey, it started moving. Why is there electricity? <laughs> you're dead. Or in the case of my car, heavy damage. Huh. He's talking about the wind strip. So much chaos going on. Whoa. It's a minute man. That's what it's called. Oh god. Why is there so many of them? So much static electricity, I guess. No place is safe. Limb is poisoned usual like the usual like public distress murals kind of thing I got air stripped what the air strips do is the faster you're going the higher they launch you completely different. I bet, I bet the, um, I bet the deep zone is gonna be completely different again. Ooh boy. Time to go. I don't think 
the this area liked us gathering an anchor. Oh, oh. That hurt. That's that's what the wriggling wreck does, but a lot worse. And no matter what, you're gonna take damage. You can either take the heavy damage from the wriggling wreck, or you can take the not so heavy damage from the from the Minutemen. So no matter what, you take damage. Whereas when you get trapped by Minutemen normally, it's not that bad. Because you just gotta wait until it dissipates. But you can't do that with a wriggling wreck or you're gonna take a ton of damage. It's a wriggling wreck! No! I escaped. See, there's your example. I, I was explaining it and then a wriggling wreck appeared. Is that a wriggling wreck? I don't think so. So much electricity here. Right? Oh, the glass is cracked on my window now. Okay, I think I'm gonna grab this anchor and then I'm gonna leave through the junction exit. Jeez, why so much electricity? Like seriously. curves around and gets me, then I'm gonna scream. Okay. the elect is about the electric is it actually charges your battery it's not like it just damages you it charges your battery but it also damages this is a large anchor and this causes a great disturbance that's why there's so many stuff shooting out of the ground oh god Anomalies are chasing me now. I think. Minutemen! I don't know how I didn't get shocked there, but I didn't. Oh! Spike puddle! Let me guess. Is my tire blown out? Nope, it's just... Oh god, that one's blown out. Okay. Let's go. Put that in there. Um, can I make a new one? Nope. Gotta put a spare tire on there. Darn you, spike puddle. Oh, I better seal up that tire so that it doesn't pop. And then I have to repair it. And then I have to replace it with a spare tire. I don't have much rubber. So I, I barely made that ceiling kit. Daddy! Daddy, wake up! You're sleeping. Yes. I was successfully fighting it for a while there and then I just popped off. And then you just died. Popped off. You were like... 
you were conscious, then you weren't. I'm surprised I don't fall asleep standing up sometimes. Me too. I could easily do that. Kind of grinding though, it was like trivial. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, no. Get in the car before I die! Come on, start it and get out of the electricity. I almost died there. Gotta repair it now. Putty. Repair putty. Repair putty. Breast. No. Repair putty. Not breast. What was that from? What video was that from? I don't remember. That's way back in the first 25 or so. <coughs> Brit. That? Okay, airstrip, save me. Thank you, airstrip. Ugh. That would let snap and burn too. Yeah. But it's a it's a remnant, so it won't it so that wouldn't happen. That's why. It's because it's a remnant. That's a wriggling wreck right there. It's actually called that too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, I couldn't no. avoid it! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! It didn't discharge before I made it. It didn't discharge before I escaped, though. Don't You're break! You're destroying your car. Don't break! Don't break! Don't break! It's still alive! It's still alive! It's still good! It's still good! Repair. Block. You're just about to die. Block. Get in. If my vehicle gets compromised, then I will die. There, I'm not in the zone. Now I'm not in an area where I'll die. That's as good as I can get it. I'd, li I'd like to have my vision not obscured, but I, I can't have that. Okay, I need to wait until the minute med disappear. Oh, I'm in the, I'm in the stuff that damages your car. Yes, I, I'm in hot dust right now. I shouldn't have said that things were going good earlier. I shouldn't have said that. I can afford another wriggling wreck. Void at all costs. Yes. Get out of there. My heavily damaged car that barely moves. Heavily damaged health, too. Yeah. Okay. Klim inside my vehicle right now. That's the, uh, that's the gateway. That's the anchor juice. Klim.
They just put a K in front of Lim, and then that's the new unit. I need more anchor juice so that I can get the turbo light engine blueprint. Actually, I don't think I can survive an anchor. I'll try though. I'm put I'm going to pull my car up to the anchor though. It's not where I thought it was. stuff in the trunk. I thought all that noise was you eating chips for a second. Like subconsciously, I heard the chips and I heard the rain and I'm like, what are you doing to that bag? <clears throat> and my brain is registering the bag and the rain as the same sound. No wriggling wreck. I don't think there is any here. <coughs> I thought you were going to say, holy smokes, those <laughs> things are scary. Yeah, but they are, those are hot. Did you see that? That's how things spawn in the zone. It's just a massive clump and then, bam, it's, a, it's there. But it has to exist somewhere else in the zone. It can't create anything, but it can, but it can replicate stuff. Whoa, you can get really close to these gateways to open them. I'm not even gonna get closer. Like, that's really close to open a gateway. There we go. Now it's time to make the limb shield. Quite the road trip there. What did you find? Stuff. Oh, they're taking an interest in you again. No, she always talks at the end of a run. Hmm? Limb shield. I have the limb shield. Store the items for your drive in the car trunk. Cross the old Nice work on that limb shield driver. Like we'll have it. the power grid prepped by the time you reach the old wall. Nah, I'm not keeping that in the trunk. I'm putting it on. There we go. We got the limb shield installed. Front and back? No, only on the back. I already had that. No, I I moved the limb pulse emitter to the front. Because oh. I because I care about the limb shield, so I don't want to be slamming into things with it on the front. I don't want to use the limb shield as a bumper. Turbo light engine. Here we go. We're unlocking it. Should I? Yeah. Ooh, lead acid battery. Okay. Too big, too wobbly. Fit under the hood. Won't fit under the seat. This is the work of a maniac. I need a seat rack. but 
I can't get. Hold on. I'm gonna make a bunch of plates. Steel plate. Steel sheet, rather. Okay, now I should be able to put the lead acid battery in. If I can make it. Lead acid battery. Nope, I can't make it. Anyway, let's get ready. Let's unlock armored doors and panels, but most importantly, door. Oh, they cost unstable energy, so I can easily get them. Puncture proof tires. Ooh. I think I'm gonna put off road tire on the back. Yes. We're heavily armored. I bet this thing is super heavy now. Like, I bet this thing's not gonna move easy. With all this metal? <laughs> yeah. We've got a heavy honk. We've got a heavy chunker. Chunker. Okay. We don't even have a course unlocked. We don't even have a course to the actual old wall unlocked yet. Okay, so we need to make it to the location before the old wall in order to unlock the ability to go in the old wall. Now it's going to be control for the limb shield. Now apparently the limb shield uses up tons of battery. So we're not going to be able to easily do it. So that's why they're doing the whole power grid thing where they make it super charged. Indubitably. They're supercharging the power grid so that um, I'm able to get through there. They're going to like... Basically, they're making the telephone poles... Tesla coils 
But the, uh, the electricity over there doesn't even work anyway. So they have to fix that. Then they're going to supercharge it. And, I, and I've given them plenty of time, clearly. Because I've taken so long. I want to test out the limb shield, but I don't want to at the same time. Actually, I see why they wanted me to put the limb shield in the trunk. Like, in case I, in case I break it on the way. But I don't think I will. I don't think. Famous last words. Yep, famous last words. I can break through anything for a second. You don't have enough battery power to keep all that going? To keep the, uh, I don't have enough battery to keep the shield going for that long. Mm. That's why they're doing the thing. I, I've already said that three times. I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> that like as soon as they see you they're just gonna be like Aah! like you don't even have to get near them they're just gonna chase you as soon as they see you I can it's barely very dark. see your headlight? I turned them off because I thought I didn't need them but I still need them it says that there's a stable anchor nearby Oh, that wasn't my car. I was like, huh? And then I realized it wasn't my car. What's this anchor that it shows? I don't know where it is, but I hear big scary noise. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's on this side. Do you hear that? <coughs> Go, oh. Is that just ambient music? Like the deep I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. It's like a deep groaning noise. Also, I'm just casually holding like tons of radiation in my hand. Like these things probably, realistically, it would probably kill you as soon as you went near it, right? Like the radiation or the instability. Imagine the ending of this, we discover that it's just a simulation to see what would happen if they played with this tech. We go through this entire, like, really sad story, and then they're like, we did good in the simulation. Now do it for real. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, ghosts and goblins all over again. That's what they do to you in Ghosts and Goblin. When you beat it, yeah. they're just like, that was a simulation. Yeah, exactly. Now do it in, now do it actually. 
And then when you do it, it they're like, it, that was a simulation. Do it again. It, each time it's twice as hard. <laughs> a game that was already hard. Mm. Oh. Look at the amount of radiation coming off of that one. Look at that massive circle. Ooh, it's a corrupted anchor. It's purple, so that means it's corrupted. It's already going? It's already coming. Oh yeah, that's corrupted. Whoa! My car! barely moving it. Or rather, it's barely moving. Come on. No, not that thing. Not that thing. Not that thing. Oh, God. No. Run. Run from the abductors. I hate those things. It's like the left, right, but it purposefully, like, it follows you. in fast. Look at that. Oh god! Ooh, got acid. Oh, this is one of these places that has the sap compressors. I know because I see a red pustule. Whenever there's a bunch of red stuff, that means there's sap compressors nearby. Whoa! We don't usually see that. That's the, that's the, that's the pre-storm. Okay, the red stuff is the storm. The yellow is the pre-storm. The pre-storm closes quickly. The storm, it does tons of damage. I got stuck in the storm on my first playthrough. When Oppie said that killer drive into it. I saw the, I saw the red, like, I saw the red distortion in the sky and thought that's what she meant. And then I drove into it and died. And then I got really mad at myself. Okay, now we should have a route directly to it. Yep, we can go. Okay, let's save. It is time to do it. We're gonna be... Okay, but first, we're gonna see what we can make with unstable stuff. Ion shield. Ooh. Here you go. Jump jacks. That's what they're called. And then... Ion shield. Unlock a roof rack. Roof rack. No! I need stable energy. Side storage. I'm gonna get a trunk in the trunk. Um, trunk. A trunk in the trunk. I need steel sheets. Eight of them. I need lead for the jump jacks. Oh, I'm out of scrap metal. Darn.
Let's grind up some stuff. damage. You're probably thinking, how am I going to pick all of this up? The magic vacuum. The hand vac. That thing is amazing. And... A trunk in the trunk. Ho ho! Ho ho! Okay, let's take this heavily damaged off-road tire. Chuck it over there. Build a side storage. Slap it on there. See if I can get anything to do with fuel efficiency. Large fuel can. Okay. How do I make one? I got it. That's pretty good. Filling it up upside down. So now we have tons of fuel. What are you doing? Snapping the elastics. Okay. Why? I'm just being an annoying little boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, it is time to go into the in into the deep zone. waiting. It's time to finally do it. And we're bringing tons of fuel with us so that we don't run out on the journey. That's why I got the fuel can. So that we have lots of fuel. Probably gonna drive off a cliff and destroy his car at this point. Don't say that. My summer car style. We're almost there, Daddy. We're almost there. Oh. No! Oh. No! Daddy, we're almost at the store. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Episode ends. Puts, puts a tree halfway through the length of the car. <laughs> mm. Right down the center. The windshield always gets covered in blood whenever you crash. Yeah. It's kind of funny how realistic it is. But e echo sounds really funny. That's why I had the windshield wipers on. Purple. 
purple haze. Right? Wow. Weird. I wonder why it has a purple haze. cool concept for a game usually you say that at the start of a series <laughs> like if this game never caught on then we, then we would have never been here having fun playing this well, it's like an open world uh, driving ad game. adventure but it's driving yeah, but it also has story. Like, it's linear. Yeah. It's not like other open world games where you just, like... Where you do stuff, but it doesn't... You don't, like, achieve anything. Other than achievements. Right? Like, in-game achievements. I just mean, like, there's been lots of games like this, but you'd be walking. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't this be is... speeding down this road dangerously fast. Yeah, they might have a driving element in it, but it's not the main element. Yeah. This whole thing is focused around driving. Yeah, you gotta operate your car in order to get farther. Yeah, all the... All the enemies and stuff are designed to attack cars. Yeah. Like, they launch your car into the sky. And only if you're going That's fast, cool. so if you're walking, it does nothing. It's designed to attack car. And also, they even have, like, vehicle weight physics. Like, your car gets harder to... Your, your acceleration goes down the more armor you pile on. It's not like you can just fully armor your car and go the same speed as when your car is barely put together, right? Yeah, it takes, takes time to get it up to speed and slow it down. But if you get a better engine, then you get better acceleration mm -hmm. and fuel efficiency. That's what the turbo light engine is going to be. I wonder how the turbo light engine is going to look. Also, I'm surprised there isn't more um, engine variants because usually driving games, like upgrading your engine is a big part of it, right? Like driving games where you can upgrade your vehicle, usually engines are, di are a big part of it, right? Like putting a V8 in a V6 car. sound quality and you might be even better. Right? Last time I discovered the wonders of music, but this is too epic of a moment to put music on. There yet, I'm still drawn. Oh God! Oh, that's why I put. That's why I put the uh, shield on the back. That would have done a ton of damage to my shield. Activate the emergency teleporter. Just like I said, he screws up at the last minute. But don't worry, I'm. Well, that hasn't completely screwed me. It's only yellow level damage. To the yeah. I like how I'm smashing into things with a high-tech thing on the front of it. Like, I don't care about that anymore. I used to care, but now I care about the shield only. Okay, here we are. It's time. We've made it. Oh my god, those are hot. 
We've made it to the deep zone crossing. All right, deep zone crossing. In three, two. <coughs> Woo! Acid uh, drained the car's fuel. That's why you don't want to get hit by the book, by the cough boxes or the boogers, the booger-looking things. The old wall, wall crossing, smokestacks. Oh yeah, that wall looks really but thick. You're not the first to try crossing the old walls when the anomalies moved in. But we'll make sure you're the first to survive. Two things to keep in mind. First, to get through the old wall, there are five crossing points. You need to induce the electrical grid the entire way by driving the car close enough and fast enough along the conductors. You'll see them as you go. Once you jumpstart the grid, Tobias will route the mid-zone power your way, but no induction, no power, no power, no crossing. Second, watch your battery gauge. You will live or die by that thing. Got it? Good. Start by connecting the power grid at the first crossing point. The controls will be up in the observation tower. This is completely different. This charges your car, apparently. Oh yeah, we've got to, we've got to connect the power grid to the car. That should be charging my car while I'm gone. Charge your battery and hope they're still in working condition after all these years. Okay, we've connected one power thing. <coughs> so, do I turn on the shield yet? think I turn it on? I don't know, man. Oh, wait, I have to connect the circuit first, otherwise I'm gonna die. Okay, I've just, I've connected that one. Now I need to connect 1A, 1B, and 1C. I don't think they're in there. I think they're out here. If I can't find anything out here, I'll go in there. This place looks really weird. It's completely different than any other zone. Just like the mid zone was completely different than the outer zone. This looks like something important. Crystal sap compressor? Or something else?
We've linked gate B. Time for C. Tobias, how's the power routing? Well, the neighbors are complaining about the flickering lights, but I told them to light some candles and sit tight. Francis? Levels are good. Only steady. Yes, we've linked it. Circuit complete. Keep it up, driver. Gotta charge up again, right? Yeah, I'll charge up my car. You have to flick the switch again up top? I'll check. I'll let my car charge here at the charging station. There's a lot of radiation here. Yeah. I need an electrician's kit. Okay, this is not as bad as I thought it would be. What they said was completely different than what this is like. What they said it would be like is completely different. They said it would be insane. Okay, the shield only consumes battery if I'm taking damage. Shut it down. We can't lose the remnant. I won't let it go. 
Rex is gonna sacrifice himself. I think so. So we'd better get through here. There's a lot of pressure on us now. Pulling the spot. Yeah, he's going out there and the radiation's coming up. Francis, I need you back at the control board. Not now, Ollie. The minute Tobias rebounds that line, you need to push the connection. Miss it by a split second and we lose the entire power grid. No. Almost ready? Please don't do this! Francis, it's now or never! Are we running the grid now? I'll be ready for you. Yeah, Tobias is sacrificing. Oh, this feels so nice. The music is ramping right now. Is this what it was back? No, this wouldn't be like... I don't think this is what it was like back then. When the grid, when the zone was still active. Because it wasn't that bad. Guy. That was insane. I think Francis might be dead too. He went out there too. I've got to turn on the stabilizer. <coughs> now all the music is gone. Actually, that's precisely what I did. 
And you'll recall the breakthrough in self healing materials that I made that year. Oh, well, good for you. I'm sure Alan will oh, be very are proud gone. of you to take his death that way. You know what? The whole pep talk I gave you before to convince you to go through with it. That's precisely the same crap Alan would tell me all the time. It's worth the sacrifice. Stay late, don't worry about me. Finish your work, then we can start a family. <laughs> always, always you spew that crap. So why do you say it to me? Because he has to have been right. Because if I let myself think he was wrong, then... I... can't live with that regret. I gave everything for them. This is the last thing I'm holding on to for myself. Every single day, I still think about how if I had left the zone when we had planned to, I wouldn't have lost Alan. I thought, I hoped, that Lynn Tech was done killing him. I'm sorry about Tobias. Tobias is... was... all I had. Ooh. I, um... <coughs> I need to sign off for a while. We'll be here when you're ready. Glad you got through, driver. Power on that stabilizer, and I'll see you back at the garage. See me? You're not gonna see me. You're gonna call me back at the garage. Man, that was sad. Yeah, we lost Tobias. But at least he was my favorite <laughs> character. Yeah. I said that in the first episode. Back. Now you know where the well is, but you're the first to step foot in the deep zone in over 15 years. And I need more time to understand Alan's suppression method. So why don't you stretch your legs and chart the deep zone while you're at it? We'll need to map a way to the well as it is. probably going to be a lot easier to get through to the deep zone now. Yeah, we've got a bunch more routes now. Whoa. Well, we've got a route into the deep zone. But it, we can't take it. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye That was insane.
That was, that's the best moment that's happened in this game. Woo! Someone died. I'm not happy. 